In this video, I'm going to show you how to use commands to create value labels for your variables. In this case, I'm using this data set that I've entered in. It's just a real brief um, data set, as you can see here. And I, and I want one to represent male and two to represent female. I can see that there's no labels defined. First of all, I can see that in the browser window. It would say male and female instead of ones and twos if I had. Also, if I type in a code with command, you can see that it just says one. It has nothing. Two, it has nothing. So it doesn't have any labels defined yet. What I need to do is first define a labeling scheme, and then I apply that scheme to my variables. So um, I could um, define a scheme by many variables in this and then apply that to many variables. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in lab def, which is, tells me labels define, give it a name. I particular, usually do that all caps just to distinguish in my mind from the names of variables, um, but you, you don't need to do it that way. You don't want to give it the same name as an existing variable. Um, so I've done that, and I'm going to say one is male to female, no equal sign, no parentheses, nothing like that. However, if my, my label was more than one word or had a number as part of it, I would put that label within quotes so that it distinguishes it from these codes here. And uh, I don't need to do that here, but in some cases I might. Okay, hit enter. It's created. Now I just need to apply to any variables that one for which one is male and two is female. In this case, it's just one. So I'm going to do lab val, labeled values. And then I'm going to tell it the name of the variable oops, or the variables that I want this scheme applied to. And that's in this case, it's just one, but I could list a, a whole a whole set of variables if I wanted. And then last, I tell it the name of the variable um, scheme, the variable scheme. So that's the last thing I do. I hit enter. Okay. I can check it by doing codebook in the name of the variable. See, it's applied here. Also, if I were to do a um, editor browse, and I'm going to do edit for, for another reason, um, you'll see that it's got those labeled. Okay, so that's a, a simple case. Let me make this a little smaller. My window is big. And I'm going to add in a few more variables so that, so that you can see what happens when we have more than one. So let's say, for example, that I, I have Likert scale type data 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 strongly disagree to 5 strongly agree. And um, that was entered in here. I'm just going to make up some data again. Okay. And, um, whoops. and then I'm going to do it for this one as well. Okay. I'm making up several variables here. I'm just random stuff for the sake of illustration. Okay. And, and this will often happen that you're going to have um, many variables in a row that are of this like a scale type. Okay. So I've got all the, those entered in here. If I want, I can click on that. One easy way to do is click on it. I can go over here, give it a name. And no, I'm just going to call it item one. I can, I can call it whatever, you know, whatever your variable name is. This one's going to be item two. Whoops. I, gotta, I clicked on that correctly. It should turn blue if it's correctly clicked on. Okay, item two. And right here, this one's going to be item three. Okay. And so that's set up how I want it. I just need to do the labeling scheme. Now, of course, I could do the labeling scheme from here by coming um, in, in this section. It's a little cut off going to the value label section, but I'm showing how to do it with code in this case. All right, so I've got these items showing here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is create first a labeling scheme, and then I'll apply it to my three variables. So I'm going to say lab def for define. I'm going to call it some name. And I'm going to use quotes here because it's two words. I don't need to when it's just one word. I'll keep that consistent with the other. Okay, so I've got it set up the way I want it. Starts with a lab def for define, then the name of the labeling scheme. I hit enter. Okay. Next, what I need to do is apply the labeling scheme to my three variables: item one, item two, and item three. So I'm going to type lab val item one 
dash item three that tells it to use item one to item three, everything included, or I could list them out individually. And then I'm going to tell it the name of the new scheme. Okay, hit enter. And then I'm going to use a code book for these three items to look at it and make sure that it looks right. Okay, so those all, all look correct. So again, that's how we, we create code to do a labeling scheme first, define the labeling scheme. In this case, we needed two labeling schemes in this data set, one for gender and one for the liquid scale items, and then apply the appropriate scheme to each of the variables.